Hi, I'm Dr. Kim Logan Nolan from Detroit, Michigan, and welcome to Live to Be Well. Today's topic is, how much is your peace of mind worth? Is there a price? Can it be purchased? Can it be bought? Can an individual determine how much your peace is worth? Let's talk about some of the red flags, the red flag time, all right? Guilt. Guilt is a major red flag when people want to use guilt to destroy your peace of mind. Regret, having regrets that I didn't do this right, I should have done that differently. Holding yourself in a modality or a sense of regret. Fear, you know, people will hold fear. They will make you become fearful with their threats and all the things they want to do to try to keep you under their control. Anxiety and stress is a major red flag when you talk about your peace of mind. Depression, isolation, and a sense of hopelessness. When you're pulling yourself away from your family, your friends, your coworkers, your church, you are pulling yourself in a place, a dark place. That's a red flag because I've given up. All I want to do now is take my life, commit suicide. Well, I'm here to tell you that God gives us a peace that passes all understanding. Let me give you some of the solutions, solutions where you can throw up that white flag, all right, and say, I'm in it to win it. Number one, the power of prayer, the power of prayer. I start my day with prayer. I end my day with prayer, and I'm blessed to be a Christian licensed professional counselor and psychotherapist where I can pray with my patients. Stay away from negative conversations. Don't get involved with people who want to tear down and trash other people. Separate yourself from evildoers, the Bible says. Don't be jealous of people. Be happy for people. Try to find your way in life. Try to perfect your gifts and talents. Focus on what God has called you to do. Why didn't God give me a voice? Why didn't God allow me to get that acting role? Why didn't God call me to produce this and direct that? Why didn't God call me to be a great pianist and violinist? But he called you to do other things. He said he will perfect and he will make room for your gifts and talents. But you have to take your eye off other people and look at what God has called you to do. Don't dwell on the past. Learn from the past, cherish the good, and move on and let the rest go. Let it go. Let it go. We've heard it before. Let go and let God. Well, I'm here to say it again. Let go and let God. Accept what you can't change. Some things just can't be reversed. Life and time cannot. But I can learn from it and not make those same mistakes again. And learn to focus your mind on positive thinking. You know, drink more water. Drink more um, water, exercise, eat healthy. Make sure that you are doing everything you can. And exercise, exercise. But make sure that you are putting into your spirit. Be mindful of how much of uh, the news and certain television programs things that will cause you to have anxiety and stress. A lot of people can't sleep because you're up all night watching the news. That will trigger anxiety and stress because it makes you worried about things that's going on in the world. What I do is pray and I read my word. Psalms 91, Psalms 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. I turn to Hebrews 11.1, 1, faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. I have conversations with people who are proactive, who are also prayer warriors. And I try to surround my, thing, my, my whole sense of being with positive thinkers, positive movers and shakers, people who want to see things accomplished and not torn down. I don't know about you, but my peace of mind is priceless. You can't, you don't have enough zeros to write on a check to buy my peace of mind. You cannot bribe me. You cannot put me in a state of fear, of anxiety, of stress, or depression because I'm not going to have it. Because I have control over my peace of mind because of God. And I've given it to the Lord. 
So therefore, you cannot take my peace, only if I give it to you, but it's not for sale. I am not giving my peace of mind over to anyone. So like I always say, remember to live to be well. And how do we live to be well? We live to be well by having peace of mind, holding ourselves accountable, not co-signing bad behavior, but walking in truth and in spirit with God. May God bless you. May God keep you. And remember to live to be well. I'm Dr. Kim. God bless.